All right, VV Nation, we got a pretty big week ahead of us. Monday, pretty light, actually. We've got only a couple governors from the Federal Reserve speaking. In addition, at 2 p.m., we have the monthly U.S. federal budget. However, on Tuesday, that's going to be the big day here at 8.30 in the morning. So just before the market opens, we are going to have CPI data. That data is utilized by the Federal Reserve and see if potentially interest rates will even be cut later this year. Now, come Wednesday, we've got more people from the Fed speaking. Thursday, we have initial jobless claims along with import price index, U.S. retail sales. So keep your eyes on that if you're holding certain positions in the retail sector. And then come on Friday, we have housing data, building permits at 8.30 in the morning. In addition, the big data coming out is going to be core producer price index. Now come today, we do have Arista Networks, Cadence Design Company, Waste Management here. I do see Lattice Semiconductor Corporation in the list reporting after hours. Now Tuesday will be our big earnings day here. We've got the Coca-Cola Company, Shopify, Airbnb, Zotus, Moody's Corporation, Marriott International. And down below, we can see we've got Datadog Inc. along with Global Foundries. Now, Wednesday, another big day when it comes to earnings. We have Cisco Systems, Sony Group, Equinix. In addition, we do have Occidental Petroleum, so definitely keep your eye on that if you're holding oil positions. Now, on Thursday, we've got Applied Materials at the top of the list, Deer & Company. We've got Stellantis here, DoorDash, DraftKings, Coinbase Global. I'll be interested to see how the Bitcoin ETF affected their bottom line. And on Friday, to wrap up the week here, we've got TC Energy, Vulcan, Posco Holdings, Immunovant and DT Midstream. Now with all that information I just provided you, the big thing to really focus on and that's actually gonna see if this market can go even higher is going to be the CPI data. Like I said before, that really is what the Federal Reserve looks at when it comes to potentially cutting interest rates. Now, as far as earnings, they are a little bit lighter this week. The past two weeks, we've seen a lot of big companies report. Now, next weekend earnings is NVIDIA, so I do not see the semiconductor space losing steam at least until after their earnings report. Now, with everything said, I hope you found this information valuable. And if you did, hit that subscribe button, like our content, so that way we can keep you updated going forward. Yeah.